Well, welcome to this short video clip uh, during these strange times. I wanted to uh, encourage the church and particularly to discuss how we look at doing uh, worship during these seasons, particularly when you can't gather together and uh, worship together as a community as we're so used to doing in this country in the UK and other countries across the world. But in these particular times, I felt the Lord pressing on my heart to talk about songs of deliverance. And in particular, uh, combine the element that worship is not just about singing songs, but it's also about the power of our testimony and how our testimony impacts others by bringing glory to God and Him answering or delivering us in whatever situation we find ourselves in, whether it's good or whether it's bad. God intercedes with His people and His people then show their gratitude and bring glory to Him through their songs and through their praises. So I wanted to call these podcasts Songs of Deliverance. And I wanted to issue a challenge to those who are members at New Life Church Rugby. What would be a good idea, we felt, as a leadership team, would be for us all to have times where one person chooses three songs for us to worship to on a Sunday and give us a testimony or an introduction to each one of these songs so that we see the meaning and how, how powerful it's impacted people's lives during times where God has intervened. Now, I'm going to start this off. And so the three songs I have for you today are Ancient of Days by Ron Canoli. The second song I have is by Michael W. Smith called Majesty. And the third song that I want to finish on is a Hiding Place and particularly played by a group called Selah. Now, why are these songs important to me? Well, the first song, Ron Canoli, Ancient of Days, is a powerful song. Now, I remember the Bible weeks at Bilf Wales where you had tens of thousands of people all gathering on the, camp, on the um, uh, agricultural grounds at Bilf Wales and in the Dales Bible weeks earlier um, up in uh, Yorkshire. And just that sense of celebration and jubilation when you had thousands of people singing praises to Jesus, but they had trumpets and the declaration that went on. And one of the songs that was at the forefront of all this was Ancient of Days by Ron Canoli. Why was Ancient of Days selected? It was a song about the kingdom of God and about the king and how he is Ancient of Days. He will weather any storm. He was in the beginning. He's in the, in the now, in the here and now, and he will also last long after we've gone from this earth anyway. He will always be consistent. One thing is true, one thing remains, and that is our Lord Jesus Christ. He's the King of Kings and Lord of Lords. And so this song empowers us because it sings about his kingdom, and his kingdom will not be shaken. It will not be overcome. As it is in heaven, so shall it be on earth. And that's why this song is a powerful sing, a song for us to sing in these changing times about the unchangeable God. Blessing and honor, glory and power, be unto the ancient of days. From every nation, all of creation, bow before the ancient of days. From every nation, of every nation all, of creation, all of creation, bow before the ancient of days. Every tongue, every tongue in heaven and earth shall declare your glory. Every knee shall bow at your throne. In worship, you will be exalted, O oh God. And your kingdom shall not pass away.
The second song that I would like to talk about today is um, called Majesty by Michael W. Smith. Now, I love to hear the songs of God's people singing, but what really struck me with this song was that my own children were impacted by it. You know, this, it's beautiful to, to, to sing songs together in church and all these things, but when you're walking around your own house and you hear your own children singing the songs that you sing at church, that does something to a father. It really impacts the father that something is going right with my own children. Because you want your children to grow up not just to be happy, but you want your children to grow up to become godly people. And that is more important than being happy. And in this society, society wants to make their children happy. And when you can't make your children happy and you go through times of hardship, such as the times that we're facing, you're all of a sudden think, well, what do you do? Well, let's just hide. <laughs> you know? But when it comes to making your children godly, we understand this factor and this truth, whether we are going through good times or whether we're going through bad times, there is something to be joyful about. Because God is in control and he is majesty. And the particular line in this song is that your grace has found me just as I am. We don't have to be anybody else other than ourselves when it comes to worshipping and being in relationship with God. He has already paid the price that we may enter in and be called children of God if we dedicate our lives to him. So let's sing majesty with one heart and one voice. No matter where you are, your, his grace has found you just as you are.
Now, the third song, I saved the best for last, is called Hiding Place by a group called Sela. And the line that I particularly liked out of this is songs of deliverance whenever I am afraid. Doesn't matter what you're facing or what you're coming against in your life, where you're at, he will deliver you in any situation that you find yourself in. He is our deliverance. The name Jesus means the Lord is my salvation. And what a salvation God has done for us. That he didn't just stay up in heaven. He came down to earth and he died on a cross. That all our weaknesses, whether it be the frailties of our body, whether it be the sinful lives that we have, whether it be just who we are not falling short of God's word and God's law, he has made up more than enough for us. He has made a way. He is our hiding place. And when we come through these times of suffering and the trials and tribulation, and he died on a cross, that all our weaknesses, whether it be the frailties of our body, whether it be the sinful lives that we have, whether it be just who we are, not falling short of God's word and God's law, he has made up more than enough for us. He has made a way. He is our hiding place. And when we come through these times of suffering and the trials and tribulation, he will protect us. But equally so, when we're in a good place, he is with us. He has never forsaken us. Just like the Apostle Paul says, I have learned to be content with little or with a lot. So let us sing this song, You Are My Hiding Place and celebrate who he is and what he has done. In the stream. 
Now that we've sung all these songs and we've come to the end of this short, we just want to encourage you to continue to give your tithes and offerings and you can find that in the link below to this video. But equally so, I want to put the challenge out there to the members of New Life Church Rugby. Why don't you do what I have just done? Send the information or send the videos to us, to the church, um, and then we will pass it on to Nathan. We'll set the songs up so that you can sing along and then we can listen to the testimonies of the church and sing songs which have true meaning, the songs of deliverance. Until the next time, look after each other and take care.